Senator Baucus wanted to wanted me to express that he's headed back for Montana. His mom's still not doing real well, and uh, he won't be here tonight. I, of course, commend those senators who showed tonight that it's not afraid to, they shouldn't be afraid to debate. This is the United States Senate. And the two senators that led the way in this whole process and debate are standing with me tonight. Uh, we're sorry Max Baucus isn't here, but there are elements of this bill that Senator Dodd has worked on for years, issues that you've worked on for many, many years are now part of this legislation now before the Senate. We can see the finish line now, but we're not there. We haven't yet crossed that, and that's an understatement. The road ahead is a long stretch, but we can see the finish line. We have the momentum that's going to keep this process moving, I have no doubt. We know that not all 100 senators agree on how to move forward, but everyone agrees that we must move forward. We know not all 60 senators in my caucus agree on every aspect of this bill, but they agree on the vast, vast majority, probably more than 90 percent for sure. But all Democrats do believe now is the time to make sure all Americans have access to affordable health care. When this debate begins on the floor, the differences will be clear to the American people. They'll see our plan. They've had since Wednesday to look at it. They'll see more. Our plan saves lives, saves money, and saves Medicare. And they'll see the Republican alternative, which I'm sorry to say is non-existent. So obviously it keeps our broken system just the way it is and lets it get even worse. We're really happy with this bill. We welcome a debate on this bill to build upon it. We look forward to finally bringing quality health care to the American people that they deserve since the first days of Harry Truman. It's a long time since 1945 when he wrote that letter to us, but it's a time that must begin and it has begun. It has begun now. We're going to move forward on this, get quality health care for all Americans. Senator Dodd. We'll lead it very briefly, if you've said it all. And, uh, and again, my congratulations to, to Leader Reed uh, for keeping us all together over these past many months. Uh, to Max Baucus, who uh, has done a great job in the Finance Committee, a very difficult part of this bill. Then, as I mentioned earlier, and it will be a constantly on all of our minds, uh, uh, Ted Kennedy, who made this the cause of his life and, uh, last year. Chris, I just spoke to Vicki Kennedy. Yeah. She, of course, was in tears. And uh, she, she believed that uh, Ted was watching us. I have a feeling he may be. So we've got a lot of work cut out for us in the coming weeks. But tonight, as Americans uh, watch this vote, as many did, uh, we have a, a historic opportunity to get this done. And it will not be easy. I know that. We've got a lot of work in front of us. But at long last, we're going to have a debate that is long overdue. And this is the 21st century. And the fact that so many of our fellow citizens, even with insurance, worry about its stability. Those who are underinsured, wonder not there'll be an adequate amount of coverage for them, should that kind of crisis befall them. And of course, for millions who have no coverage whatsoever, uh, this is a critical moment. It's the United States of America, and certain things you ought to have a right to. Certain things, not everything, just certain things. One thing is certain. You ought to have a right to decent health care, to be able to see a doctor when you need it, and to be able to afford it without bankrupting you in the process. And that's what we're attempting to do with this bill. That's what we're attempting to do for the very first time in the history of our country, to deal with a national health care plan that will serve all of the people of our nation. Nothing less than that is our objective. A long road lies ahead of us, but we've begun that journey. And I'm as confident as anything I've ever been before that as I stand before you this evening with our leader, with Tom Harkin, who did a remarkable job with us on this committee, that we are going to accomplish that goal. Before this journey is over, we will have passed national health care coverage for all Americans. Chairman Harkin. I can't think of a better vote to have right before Thanksgiving. I think the American people, when they 
really learn what's in this bill, will be very thankful that we're moving ahead. And make no mistake about it, this is a momentous vote that we just had here tonight. A momentous, pivotal vote. And as we now move ahead in the debate and the amending process, the American people, as I said, will we'll learn more and more about what's in this bill. This bill is a good deal for America. Reduces the deficit. Will cover, along with Medicare, 98% of the people in this country. It will crack down and stop a lot of health insurance industry abuses. And it will, for the first time, provide enormous support for prevention and wellness to keep people healthy in the first place, to change the paradigm away from a sick care system to a true health care system in America. That's what this bill is all about. We're rounded third. We're heading home. But as our leader said, it's a long time, a long way sometimes from third to home. But we're going to get there. And I just want to thank our leader, Senator Reid, for, I, I, for all that he's done. I, I said today, I said he has the patience of Job, the wisdom of Solomon, and the uh, endurance of Samson in putting this together. And I thank Chris Dodd for his great leadership in getting this bill through the committee and also Senator Baucus for his great leadership on the on the Finance Committee. And we hope that his mother is going to be fine and they'll have a good Thanksgiving together. So now onward and let's get this bill done and get it to the President for a signature. We'll take, we'll take a couple of questions. Senator Lincoln today made it very clear that she's not going to support any kind of public auction. Lieberman has said the same. But do you see first, the first of all, that it will be in the final policy? I support, I support a strong public option. I welcome Senator Schumer, Landrew and Carper, who Senator Landrew said that they're working together to find a public option that is acceptable to all Democrats. Mr. Leader, however, as you go away, you must be wondering, as all of us frankly are, when you might get 60 votes again. Well, to use the Senator's analogy, it's 60. Well, that, Hopefully it's 60 votes that's, away. That's a simple question to answer. It'll get 60 votes, and we have a bill that we're going to want to send to the President. The close of the votes okay, must be more and more important. What did you say? I'm sorry. Did you just say that you cast Senator Schumer, Carper, no. and Landrieu? No. It's my understanding that Senator Landrieu said today that she's working with Senator Schumer and Carper to come up with an alternative. I was pretty well focused on getting the votes. I uh, wasn't talking to. Them. I took all senators' calls, but no one else's. 